guys. Zero Eleven here, and today we have this Retail Blaster of 2014-2015 Upper Deck MVP. Um, I haven't opened much of 14-15 MVP. I've opened a lot of the newer stuff, but um, I don't think I've opened too much of this. Maybe like uh, literally a hobby pack of this stuff. Um, good thing about this year, autographs are possible, which is great. They're a real long shot. The layout for this is actually only 12 uh, packs per box. Um, I believe like 16, 17 had like 24, 17, 18 had 24, 18, 19 had 21 or something. So a bit less here, five cards a pack. Hopefully that means there's more um, quality in the packs because there, there was a lot of base packs in the recent years of MVP retail. But yeah. Let's get right into it. MVP, looking for carryover rookies. Who was it? Kuznetsa, Goudreau. Those are the two uh, I'm looking for. And hopefully some interesting inserts to go with them. And puzzle backs sadly weren't around in the 14-15 season. So yeah, cool looking packs. Got Malkin on it. Uh, nice blue design on there. Uh, yeah, I like the pack. Looks pretty nice. All right, so yeah, base cards. I'm definitely familiar with them though, yeah. But yeah, we got Jack Johnson. They're they're nice. Danny Kaiser. Silver scripts. Silver scripts look pretty good in here. They actually have some like foil to the facsimile auto right there. Kyle Pozo. We got Mike Camilleri. And Alex Edler. Okay. Next pack up of 14, 15 MVP. And I'm not really gonna pay attention to short prints much. Unless they're like rookies and stuff. Joel Ward. Ryan Murray. And that's, well, that's a short print, obviously, of Steve Iserman. Clearly, I believe, probably 200 and higher is likely the short prints. But yeah, Clark MacArthur might be even lower than that. Anti Ranta. Alright. Staying on here. So far, we just got the silver script of Opozo and that Iserman short print. Both of them are not worth anything, pretty much, but it's alright. Antoine Vermette. Darcy Kemper. And got a Pekka Rene. Silver script. Uh, I got Oli Mata and Dan Boyle. Another thing I want to point out, the feel of the cards. They f well, what the heck was that? They feel nicer than the newer cards. The newer cards seemed like bow after time. Like Anger Kane's guy just sitting there. Um, Carl will just bow if you don't like protect it properly. So Yeah, these um, they probably will bow as well, but the general feel of it feels closer to your Series 1 and Series 2 than um, what it feels like now. It feels less cheap. Mikkel Bodker. Steve Mason, Roberto Luongo, Nathan McKinnon, and Oli Jokinen, who uh, in 1415, was he on the Leafs in 1415, or was it 1516? It's one of those years. Alright, next pack of MVP. Hopefully get an insert here, probably one of those three stars or whatever. Alexander Salmon, Chris Higgins, Silver Script, and we got one of these, um, Three stars, uh, I can't even read the foil. I'm not the... Of the week. So these are just a common one, one in ten. Three stars of the week. Chris Stewart. Wow. Cindy Crosby and Matt Duchesne. What did Chris Stewart to get, do to get a first star? Start week with a multi-goal game. Ottawa and finish a hat trick. Okay. Six goals and assist. All right, then. Cool looking answer. J.S. Jaguar and Gustav Nyquist. Um, I believe NHL territories were 15, 16. And then obviously they moved on to the now player credentials as the main inserts, but yeah. Alright, Matt Niskanen, Travis Zajac, Ryan Suter, Jane Schwartz, and Mark Giordano. No rookies yet. Hope for a couple rookies. I mean, it's probably not going to be a good one. But yeah, we'll see. John Carlson. Brent Seabrook, Nicholas Jalmerson, Silver Script. Oh, whoa. I was about to say Brandon Gormley in my head. I was literally about to say that, but hey, I forgot about the scripts. The gold script. Brandon Gormley. Um, not good. Brandon Gormley was a really high pick in 2010. Not sure how high. Around the top 10, I know that. Um, does it say right here? That'd be nice. Um, no, it doesn't. But yeah, he did not pan out. He's a defenseman. Goal strip number 37 out of 100. Nice looking card. Blah. Blah. <laughs> what the heck? Nice looking card. 
of Brandon Gormley. Cool. I like that. I forgot about the gold scripts. That actually makes this stuff even more worthwhile if it's only 10 bucks a blaster. Because a Goudreau or Kuznetsov, one of those would be nice. Matt Sajin. Hampus Lindholm. And speaking of Kuznetsov, we got Kuzi the Clown. Evgeny Kuznetsov. <laughs> Chell you, Binks. There you go. Kuznetsov wore Captain C for Russia's silver medal winning squad at the 2012 World Juniors. And Lyle scares with 13 points in 7 games. Champion. Look at that. Kuz ne No, come on. Netsov. Okay, there you go. Kenny Kuznetsov rookie card. Nice. Got uh, Jake Markstrom or Jakob Markstrom. Looks like um, that was right around the time he got traded, right from Florida. Oh, yeah, there you go. Huh. Interesting stuff. Carl Serberg. So, yeah, I got a Kuznetsov rookie. All right. That's decent. We got a Gormley gold script. Rookie gold script. Not bad. Gold scripts are nice. Lee Stepniak. Zach Ronaldo. Logan Couture. Silver script. Mark Edward Vlasic. And Paul Martin. So, yeah, one of the biggest takeaways from this stuff is the cards just feel... They, the quality of them feel a lot better than the newer stuff. Like newer MVP. I don't know. Maybe that's just a sign that our Decks just um, watering down their stuff. Mike Ribeiro, Saku Koivu, Dustin Bufflin, Matt freaking Cook, and Justin Williams. Because 1415 was the first year that Upper Deck had the exclusive rights to um, do hockey, NHL hockey cards. So, a lot of stuff in 1415 was really solid. And it's. It's slowly gone down. I'm not gonna lie. Stuff in this, no, I won't get. I'll get into that in a later video if you want me to. Michael Grabner, uh, Keith Yandel, I actually made a video like a year ago on that. Merritt Zidlitsky, uh, Silver Script, Ryan Verbata, and Robin Leonard. But I think competition is good. Like if Panini were still around, I don't think Upper Deck would be doing what they're doing now. So yeah, I'll just throw that in there because they're always trying to beat each other, right? All right, Chris Kreider, Alex Galchenyuk. Danny Malkin, Andre Sakara, or Sakara, and Dan Girardi. So yeah, guys, there's a blaster. Uh, 14-15, Upper Deck MVP. Interesting stuff. Definitely, um, actually not too bad. I actually enjoyed that. Got a Kuznetsov rookie. Solid. And Brandon Gormley. Gold script. So pretty good. Pretty good blaster all, in all. And stay tuned for more bricks to come, as always. As always. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.